Part 14 of our internet series uh, using SharePoint communication sites is uh, going to be all about the Euro web part. And believe me, it's important enough to just make a video about it. I absolutely love the Euro web part. If you go to my blog site and you search for Euro web part, you're going to find a couple of interesting blogs. And the first one I want to talk about is themes. So if I look at this blog, um, you will see the following. See the different colors that I use there? That's not possible with Euro Web Parts. So normally a Euro Web Part looks like that. So the color that it displays there, it picks up from the theme. So if you decide to use an image or a color, the color it displays will be from the theme, which means it'll all be blue or all be purple. So how on earth did I get that right? Or how did I get that right? I created a square in PowerPoint change the color, right click and save there as an image because SharePoint thinks it's in a photo. So just upload a different color if you want to use a different color and look how cool that looks. And um, there's me building the Microsoft logo. There's me building um, different colors that build, um, goes in with my theme. So uh, definitely a way of jipping that. Then here's another cool idea is uh, how about using similar images to create a theme? I'm not saying go plants, but uh, there's a cool idea. How about just using IT images to bring through an IT theme or just using people to bring through an HR theme? And this comes from Chorotisography, which is uh, one of my favorite sites. And then, of course, this is what I'd like to show you is how about using a GIF? Definitely very cool. And this you can see in using a GIF with your Euro part. You'll find all of this detail um, in this blog to show you how to create that uh, GIF image and how to upload a new site. So let's go and look at our SharePoint site. This is my SharePoint site. I've changed the theme already, but I still got the standard stock photos in it, right? So if I go to edit, when I'm in edit mode, I can then edit this web part. And this will work the same on your other template pages as well. I can edit the web part there in the top left corner and that can then um, say only use two web part blocks or only use three or something. But what a waste, man. I've got that space. I love the five blocks. Okay, I prefer using the five blocks. Of course, it depends on what you're trying to achieve, but I prefer using the five blocks. So then, um, of course, I can then also edit each one of the web parts. So I'm going to leave that one purple because I kind of like that. Okay, but I'm going to change this web part and choose another image. So I'm going to go change. And I'm going to just select another image to use. I'm definitely going to use that uh, banana man. He's pretty cool. And then I think I'm going to change this one as well. I'm not changing the links at the moment. Okay, we'll come back to the links. But I'm going to change this image as well and say that I want this one to be um, Mr. IT. Where's Mr. IT? Uh, let me just upload an image that we can use there. Oh, there's my Mr. IT. So um, that one I'll just call um, information technology. And um, this one we can just change into, I don't know, marketing. <laughs> and uh, then this one I'll change as well. So image, I'm going to use another custom image. Um, let's use that one just for the fun of it. We're going to call this one um, leadership skills. And then this main one, I'm going to change into a GIF. So when I click on that edit button, um, we're going to call this uh, human resources. And then, of course, this main box also has a call to action. So I can say, click here to learn more about HR. And then I'm going to change the image. And I'm going to say, I want to change this. But, and I've got to go to my downloads to actually get this. Downloads. I've created a GIF that I want to use. So I'm going to go GIF, add, and then I'm going to go publish. There's my GIF web part. Oh, that's boring. Two of the same, but it doesn't matter. So um, I've added uh, um, new images there and new text that it goes to, and we can always change the um, links later. But how cool does that uh, Euro web part look? It just adds a bit of spice to your landing page. Be careful with how fast you set that when you create your GIF. So of course you can determine that. But that is how awesome the Euro web part can be on your landing page. Use it well. Use the right images. Remember pixels.com, pixabay.com and gratisography.com is amazing sites for images. Royalty free, um, not copyright and uh, it's free. So uh, chat soon.